All right, recording finally started. We can get into it. They added this cool new feature to replay. It's called bookmarks, which I think is really cool. Um, you can pick out a player, and you can. Uh, so this is just, I guess, for for your own reference. You can pick out a player, and you can s cut like s uh, go to different um, events as they start. So you can see the start of the game. Every yeah. elimination they get, you can see when they use an ultimate. You can see, so like if I go to, let's see, okay. If I go to Tabuki's perspective here, you can see every time an ultimate happens. Huh. You can, you can, use, you can see deaths, so you can skip around to when deaths happen. Health pack pickups. That's an interesting one. <laughs> but I guess you can keep track of... Um, that can, for example, be something you can go through and see, like, okay, health pack pickups, how many health packs did they did they pick up per, per match? If you're going through and somebody's picking up no health packs, that might be a problem, right? Like, this person picked up yeah. one single health pack, no health like packs the entire game. To alive, yeah, that thing. No, who's Rick Grimes? Which, which player is this? Uh, Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes. So the our Moira didn't use a single health pack that game. Um, you can see, you can ca kind of count deaths in the after fact. Uh, huh. So that's just interesting things. Two, Heartless used none once again. Um, you can see... Start and you can just go to all events, ultimates, deaths, eliminations, health pickups, ultimate pickups. So like, like we this game. Oh, maybe this game. The end of this game might not be the best, but I think it was good to start. But we our Zenyatta just started feeding near the end. He's just <laughs> sprinting in. I think this is Zenyatta. Uh, let's dang it. You can't swap. Who you're spectating? Oh, is that? Um, there we go. Um, attack zero. Can you? But look, look at that. Look at all all these deaths. You can see he was just like near the end. He's just sprinting into their team every time. It makes you wonder why he was just sprinting into the enemy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, we don't know if he was like feeding or what. Um, honestly, I might do the, that's probably honestly like the reason why we lost this game. Might be worth trying to find a new game actually, just cause he died on repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 deaths. So yeah. Let's find another one real quick. Um, da -da -da. Dorado. Circuit Royale. We did Circuit Royale last time. That one wasn't close. Calcio was pretty close. <laughs> yeah, that definitely, definitely that that makes things better um, on a individual spectating basis. I don't know how helpful that's going to be when you're looking at an entire team. You can probably use it if you're trying to go over one person. All right, let's, yeah. go, let's go over red team here. Um, let's do just do the basics, and then we'll see if anything new comes up as we're going through. Um, okay. What kind of map is this? What what team? What's the best team comp? What's the second best team comp? What's the third best team comp? Mm, I would say probably. Uh, poke, brawl, no, dive, and then brawl. Yeah, I'd agree. Yep, it's pretty long open with some good, like, th these high grounds are kind of, like, in the middle where they're a little bit vertical, but then they're also horizontal. So, poke is, like you said, is best, uh, dive second, and then brawl third. But brawl still, this is still decent brawl, so, you know, it's, yeah. it's you, you, you do okay on brawl. Um, You know, this is a pretty... Um, pretty decently designed map, so 
you do you can can play the the three of them. Um, all right, what team comp is Red playing here? Uh, I would say poke. Poke comp. So Zenyatta, Echo make up poke. Zarya is kind of brawl. Tracer, Echo are also dive. Zen and Kiriko can be a dive. Honestly, I'd probably say that it's more of a divey comp. Um, with Zarya, with Zarya is just going to be anchoring, but Zarya can provide bubbles, so she kind of works okay with with them. Um, yeah. But these these two can both keep up with the dive. Zarya can kind of keep up with the dive, and then these two are divey DPS. Um, so I'd say it's probably more divey than than pokey. But I can see where you see see poke too, because then Yada's poke, Echo's poke, but I wouldn't say Kiriko's poke. Zarya is not really poke. Tracer is not poke. So I'd say primarily dive, but it's a it is a little bit of a mix. Uh, what team comp okay. are they on? Uh, I would probably say dive as well. Yeah, divey, maybe a little bit brawly, kind of like the same thing over here. So kind of running very similar team compositions. So yeah, starting the engagement. Their teams swinging. You know, those three are going main. DPS are swinging wide. Same thing over on this side. Red's DPS are swinging wide. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. I got out on one HP there. Mm -hmm. Remember, I swap pretty quick after this fight. I swap off Echo pretty quick because um, it's it's just really hard hard as Echo to try to hit a Lucio Tracer Sombra. Yeah. Remember, I was having trouble with trouble with swaps here. Okay, so we kill their Zarya, so we're up one. Okay. Getting some good cart progress. Got some ults coming online. Um, so we have on Fred's side, we're going to have Copy, Pulse, Trance, Kiri. So we have four ults. On the other side, they just swap to a Maga. They are going to have probably just Pulse Bomb here. So we probably on Red side just want to make sure that we're just using two, right? Yeah. Maga's going pretty far in here. Trance gets used because um, I guess I thought someone was going to die here. This might be a unnecessary trance. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's in trances here because nobody was particularly low HP here. Here probably could have used it like if he got a bit lower, but you ju I think this is a yeah. panic trance. Okay, B gets used afterwards. So we, we had an early trance. Maga gets taken out. I get picked. So now we're 4v4. Okay, still winning the fight. This does end up getting flipped in the other direction here. So I'll have to see what the problem is. Okay, so they had EMP trance. Um, what is something 
that our team could have done to watch for to like so if we were communicating and we could, and we said oh they have EMP this fight right assuming we're ult tracking um what then should be the plan against it mm, i would say try try not to group up maybe split a little yeah cuz you can see possibly have zarya pop her ult ahead of time yeah so all four people get get emp'd here so have people split up a little bit more um particularly it'd be useful to yeah because if zarya and kiriko are not in it then they can bubble and they can uh suzu right so playing a little yeah. bit too grouped here um they get a nice little thing. Tra tracers over. Tracers are over in their duel over here, so that's fine. But definitely too grouped up for that. I agree. Zen ends up getting bubbled. Okay, they end up using trance to save their junker queen from dying. Okay, so their Junker Queen just sprints in. Let's take a look. Our Tracers and Zarya, Tracer Zarya may be holding up. So what What should, so we already talked about, right, Um, what our plan against their ult should be. What What, what does our um, ult plan look like here? What are we looking for? Um, I think that the Tracer is going to probably use her ult to possibly finish off but she seems too focused on the other tracer mm -hmm. um and zarya could pop her ult but she would probably be better saving it mm. well for right, now right here we have a really big ult combo that we could be using what's the ult combo we could be using we only have one option oh, zarya is, uh, zarya pulls doesn't she yeah right so yeah. zarya pulls them all together tracer pulse bombs it and they all blow up right that goes yeah. through trance even right if you get everybody in it it can one tap so if you get if zarya gets um you know gets anybody in it with with even with a trance pulse bomb's gonna get get a kill maybe two kills right if she can if she can get more than one people in it um besides transcendence what else would they have to watch for so that they can successfully get a pulse bomb in. Um, well, there's no other ults going to be up soon. What else could what else could stop the pulse bomb from from killing them in the graph? You need scan scan through their team comp real quick. Think about their abilities yeah. and ultimates. Sombra has her hack. Mm hmm. So, uh, that, but that's that's like a really low possible low chance of being able yeah. to successfully hack her out of a pulse bomb while in the middle of a grav. There's also Baptiste. Mm hmm. What can Baptiste do? immortality or immortality field yeah so immortality field would make it so that pulse bomb doesn't get the insta kill right so yeah that would be something that could be communicated we're going for grav pulse watch they're gonna have trance make sure we're killing the immortality field right um yeah because if we kill the immortality field then we can still pulse it um you just gotta watch for it and pay attention and kill it as a team um so that's something we could have been doing sooner here, right? Like, let's see, we could even spot. Let's see if there's a time where we could have, where we could have um, used it. Used it. Zarya turns around. Um, sorry if Zarya is looking. Could even have, <laughs> could even have grabbed them up top there. But I think Zarya's yeah. maybe, maybe just nervous because no one's super grouped up at the moment. But because so trance has two more seconds on it. Yep, two more seconds on it. Zarya could be grabbing these two right now, right? Tr grab yeah. the trance and grab the grab the junker queen, right? And that pulls them in, and then we can get a pulse bomb in on that. 
right? If Tracer's watching for it, but Tracer's running up and around. So it's obvious that it's not com- it, that these two aren't coordinating with the graph poles. Yeah. And then, um, and then Zarya's not going for the grav when they're all grouped up like this. So the, that's that's a combo that could could be winning this fight. Um, instead, just gets the singles in, which allows the Junker Queen to run on the back and kill and kill this Zenyatta right here. Okay, um, Tracer gets a kill. Um, Echo gets a kill. Um, Sombra, both the supports are dead though. Okay, clean up the fight though. Nice, get all the kills. Okay, here we get off cart for a little bit. I don't know why. Tracer's oh insta back. She's trying to get the Kiriko. That's what she's trying to do. Okay, we got off cart for a second actually on accident. Zarius maybe a little far push forwards without the Kiriko. Right? Because yeah. now she's yeah, half she... HP. Not using her bubbles when she should, because if she had bubbles, then she wouldn't be half HP. Okay. Um not wonderful position the team's in right here. Echo ends up getting shot. Bad bubble because Echo's around the corner anyways. Okay. Um, Kiri gets killed. This is just kind of an awkward position because the whole team's trying to play in this, like, play on that right side. And that's just a really tight corridor, right? That they're, that they're yeah. trying to, to play in. So that's just really not favorable. Um, they have a pulse bomb. Um, what are what is stuff that our team can be doing to negate a pulse bomb right so what would we be calling as the counter well let's see there's two 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 things that they could be doing well not grouping up and then Mm -hmm. also which that one's not as you don't have to worry as big of a deal because it doesn't have a massive radius Usually, you're able to just run away from the person who's stuck. Um, I'll give you a hint. It's, it involves holding on to... So you'd say, hold on to these abilities. Oh, uh, like bubble and... Uh, I don't know all the abilities off the top of my head. Mm, all good. Um, Another one would be Suzu, so Kiriko's yeah, in, immortality. So, so you can say, hold, hold on to a bubble, hold on to a Suzu, watch for the pulse bomb, right? That sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, exactly. Zarya is just walking through the supports. Our Zarya is dead. Everyone's dead. Echo goes in, jumps off the map. All right, so they're pu- they're finally pushing it back around. Um. I swapped to McCree because I feel like because they swapped Ash. Honestly, I probably I, I kind of played a hero swap here, um, kind of going all over the place, and that probably wasn't helping too much. Okay, I heard, I heard the tracer, and then I just get pulse. Uh, there's nothing I could do. Okay, our tracer lands the pulse on Zarya, but Zarya makes it out. Oh, she stays, takes a, takes a headshot, so they're even. Uh oh, team's splitting up a little bit. Zarya's got a Zarya. Notice how Zarya Kiriko are sprinting in. And then getting surrounded by one, two, three, almost four people when there's still two tracing, chasing Tracer and then one walking back from spawn. So they get Tracer. These guys just got to be careful. So you can, you can see Baptiste they get the, is out in the open. They get the pick. Oh, they just barely don't get the pick. 
Oh, they get the pick. Nice. Okay, so um, these two are in a rough spot. They need to get healed. Um, and this is partially because Zarya is just running, running way far ahead. So Zarya is maybe drawing some of the attention to Cart, which is a decent I idea. Yeah, but being alone there could also cost you guys. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, um, trance comes in. They throw a Bob here. This cuts off McCree. Team gets grabbed. So we, if we knew they had Bob grab uh and then Bapolt, and then we know that we have Trance, Kiri, and Zarya, almost Zarya, um, and almost Pulse. What what should be the plan? What are we watching out for? What should our plan be? Watching for um. The definitely the Baptiste ult because they might dive and then drop on top of a Baptiste ult on top of you. Um, Kiriko should hold on to hers for now. Um, let's see. Bob's already behind, so it doesn't change much. Um,. I would probably say just watch out for the dive of them coming directly in on top of the Baptiste ult. Mm -hmm. So, coming with a Bap ult, probably also want to watch for the grav, right? Because this grav is coming after trance. What's the, what's the problem? Like, what could we do against the grav? Um, I, I would say try to not group up. Okay, so to, firstly, don't group up, right? Because that's what everyone's yeah. doing here is everyone's standing on top of each other. Okay, what else What else can the team do against the grav to survive the grav? Uh, Kiriko's ult can get you out of the grav, correct? Nope, Kiriko's ultimate. So her firstly, her Suzu would just would give you like a second of immortality, but that's not going to last for a whole grav. Um, and then her ultimate just makes you faster, shoots faster, reloads faster, abilities faster. It doesn't, it's not something that gets you out of a grav. Okay. Um. What, is it, what does Zenyatta's ult do? Uh, it keeps you up, doesn't it? It's a more, it's almost like an immortality. Uh, almost like immortality, but not exactly, because it, it's just a lot of healing. It's like 300 healing a second or something like that. So it's going to be able to heal you, but you can still get one shot through it, right? So if you do a burst damage that does 250 HP of damage all at once, like, for example, a pulse bomb or a high noon or something like that, right? Then you can yeah. then you can technically kill through it. But... Do they have a pulse bomb? No, no. So they're probably not. It, it, they're not going to be able to uh, damage through it. They could maybe if they grab and then they like window and then like ash shoots through it at somebody. Then they might be able to burn through it. But trance is probably still a pretty good idea for a graph. But look at how we're using trance here. Is the Zenyatta comes in and trances? when he sees a half HP Zarya, but the Zarya's already around the corner and just got a Suzu, right? So yeah. un unnecessary trance because Zarya's not, is the only person who's who would die here and Zarya's not actually gonna die. Zen just wasn't paying attention. And then now we don't have trance for the grav. So if, if that was the, the call is save trance for grav, then Zenyatta wouldn't be trancing here. But notice how tr Zen trances, they throw Bob, um, Chaser goes to the top, and then notice how they grab right after at the end of the trance, and they get three people in it. Right? Yeah. They, we use a bubble. Because we're all grabbed, the McCree is trying to duel the Tracer, and has Bob on him. Uh, Zarya, they kill the Zenyatta... The they get the Kiriko low because of the grav. Kree it just has a Zarya and Tracer running on him. So technically, uh no. They basically win that. 
but we push a hair further. All right, so that's still that's still good. We're getting a little bit further. Sorry, I should be trying to get out. Yeah, so that was a that was a like a good like we definitely could have won that fight if we just played it played ultimates better, right? Um, yeah, and things like that as a team. Um, sorry, I was trying to get out with health. That's good. Or with charge, really, she doesn't want to give up her her. That's that's something for Zarya, right? She doesn't want to give up her charge if she if um she wants to keep it. Um, so now they're pushing it back. Um, okay, so enemy team they burned a lot. They burned some ultimates, so that's good. They have Bap, Moira, Pulse. We have Pulse, Grav, Kiri. What do we have to do? We do we have to watch out for anything? What can we do against their ults, and then what should we be doing? Well, I'll have to watch out for the Moira and Bapple. Mm -hmm. Is there anything... Possibly the traits are all... Is there anything in particular you'd need to call out for Moira and Bap? Probably just watch uh, watch Immortality. Um, and then what? Oh, I'm not sure how you'd say watch. it for Moira. Watch Immortality Field for what? Let's see. So you'd be watching for Bap ult, Moira ult, and Tracer ult coming up mm -hmm. fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. so, so you'd... Go ahead. You'd be informing everyone, watch for Tracer to get behind, because she might try to dive in for somebody. Mm -hmm. Um... Moira Bapple would probably come down together if they're really trying to push hard. Mm hmm So um different different things, right, that could help is first yeah. like we said before, maybe save a bubble or a Kiri Suzu for for pulse bomb. Um what's something you can do against Moira and Bapple? Moira and Bapple. Probably um, grab into the pulse off of it because pulling them out of the immortality field. Well, just as a reminder, immortality field isn't isn't his ultimate. Oh, it's not. Bat Bat oh, yeah, it's has, wall. yeah, it's his. It's his. We usually people call it window or something like that. Yeah. Um, he it's it's the ample two times damage and healing through it. But you're correct. You should watch for the for the immortality field when we graph pulse, right? Yeah. So that so that should be our combo for the fight. Hold on to Kiriko ult, right, and try to win off yeah. graph pulse. Um, try to you'd you'd want to avoid you'd want to use it after they've used bubbles, and then when they lamp, you want to destroy it. Um, if they're coming in, we can watch for their pulse bomb, and then with uh, with Baptiste and Moira, if they use it early on in the fight, you can probably just wait it like back up and wait them out, right? Get around the corner and just because they they'll both run out before they able to, they're able to do anything. So we can kind of push and then back and just wait for them to go away, and then we can push in afterwards after they don't have their ultimates, um, and then we can use our combo. Um, if they use them in the middle of the fight, then you know there's not much we can do. Just be play around the corner. Just, and make sure it's called out. Yeah. Okay. So we're pushing in aggro. What's the problem? Zarya is going in by herself, and it looks like she just popped her old. Where's Tracer at? Way back there, trying yeah. to fight the other Tracer. So now this is two fights that Zarya and Tracer are not on the same page with Grav Pulse, right? Definitely yeah. something. That can be called out here. Um, and then... Let's see. Zarya gets one person in Grav. So Zarya's pushing without checking where her team's at. Misses and only gets one person instead of more than that. Um, they're on the, we're on the tracer. We're trying to get her. She recalls out. So we now this fight's just going sloppy. Kiriko's low. Kiriko's dead. 
Tracer's dead, and we just use three ultimate or two ultimates. So they win the fight, and we and the good thing is that I mean, then they only had to use one ultimate, so we used two ults and still lost it, which is not good. I swapped Torb because Kree wasn't caught in it for me. I wasn't able. The tracer was just dancing circles. We get an early pick because I just like cross map sniped the Ash. Tracer's pushing. Okay, they missed the pulse. Um, so we just, uh, you know, wa watch for that. Same thing as before. Watch for the Moira ult. We have pulse and then that's it. So this is just going to be a normal fight. They use Moira. Look at how, like, maybe Zarya is a little bit out in the open right now. Yeah, she's pretty far up again. Oh man, how do we lose this game? Because it's we're we're winning significantly by three minutes left. <laughs> Zarya, so let's, let's see what happens. Why does Zarya get picked? Zarya's really far pushed forwards. All right, so Zarya's not really. So look how look how deep Zarya's running here. Yeah, she's she's way too deep. So Zarya's kind of pushing off of off of no. Like pushing hard because we talked about aggression scaling before, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Zarya's aggression. What 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 is her aggression at right now? Almost a hundred. Almost a hundred. Yeah, maybe like ninety, something like that. Um, what should it be right now? I would say maybe like seventy. Seventy. Because she has somebody she could be with right now. Yeah. Maybe maybe like more like sixty. She doesn't really have. There's so far there's no advantages and there's no opportunities. I mean she has, but charge. But like she should be probably like on corner and just shredding the Zario, who is discorded right now. But bubble gets broken. Very out in the open. Okay. Zarya gets killed. Torbjorn's about to run straight through the open. So Torbjorn gets killed. Not Both of them not using cover. Then staggering himself, right? Same with Kiriko. Both of them staggered. So, team, so they're not dying on time with the team. Okay. Um... Here, enemy team, they'll maybe have some, like, they'll have theirs, like, later fight. Um, our team, we have Trance, might want to, like, we could use it, but might want to save it for, like, uh, maybe, yeah, I guess we could use it when, as needed. Maybe save it for Graph, but they're, they're, they're going to have a Pulse Bomb for it, for their Graph. Yeah. Okay, sorry, trying to push. Bap off. Our Tracer loses the duel. Torbjorn tries to run for it. L supports are really far back here, but that's because that's because of the fact that they were. I don't know why Kiriko's so far back. Right, Kiriko should probably either be with the Zarya right now or with the Torbjorn right now. But Kiriko's trying to snipe heal instead of being. Yep, Kiriko goes in. Why does Zarya drop there? I guess Zarya's trying to drop on the... Bap was shooting her and she didn't have heals. Zaniata's being flanked. Uh, so Zaniata's not sticking with the team. They're just like kind of running circles and, this, and our team's just split, right? Like Zarya's... Look at Zarya. Zarya's pushing cart by herself in the middle of four yeah. people. Um, Zaniata was over here by himself. Kiriko and Torbjorn are, I mean, like, Kiriko's trying to help Zarya and dies. Like, Zarya's just, like, kind of sprinting the cart to try to contest for some reason instead of trying to win the fight. Okay. 
So they get a lot of cart progress off of that one. Because that was just a long, drawn-out fight that they that they just pushed the whole time for. Okay. Um, they have Grav. They have Bob. They have Window. We have Trance. We have Torbolt. We have Kiri Ult. What's our plan? What should we be doing? I would save Trance for an emergency, such as... Because Tracer is not going to have her pulse bomb for a while. Mm -hmm. So save uh, transfer when um, Zarya pops. Well, she just popped Grav. Mm -hmm. So if it's needed for Grav. Yeah, that's probably a good that idea. That were as needed for uh, Baptiste Salt. Yeah, which might. It looks like they're using that for the Grav. Right? Yeah. So we trans. Now, yeah, there we go. We trans. Who, where does Tracer get picked at? Where's Tracer at? Oh, Tracer was in. Was died through, through the trance. What the? Baptiste kills her. See, look. This is this is what I'm talking about. Baptiste ult can can pop through the, through it. So Tracer gets tranced and back up to full HP. And yeah, and then he just Bap kills just her. Shreds her through it. So that's why we probably also want to be using bubbles. So Zarya could have bubbled. Um, Kiri used Suzu, but it wasn't in the right time. I mean, like, probably just want to try to rotate. If you're if you're playing this perfectly, which I'm not presuming you will be here, but probably could be trying to. Um, rotate them so like bubbles first and then suzu and then if you need it you trance or something like that right like that those are yeah. just some ideas um we use the tor bolts kind of spread it spread it around here zayato's going in aggro gets a pick nice zarya's just sprinting to cart again um you can see that a lot of the time here it just looks like um Sorry, has a one-track mind. Go stop cart. Go stop cart. Go stop cart. Um, which they... I think that one of the reasons is because they're about to pass us, which that's really important to stop it before they pass us because that flips it in their favor and we would need to win that fight back. But the question here becomes, why is Zarya running this way to get to it? Yeah, when she could have went the other way. With the team. If he goes the other way, she's with her team. I think she's thinking, I can do it faster if I go this way. But here she's just not being aware and is dropping in the middle of a Tracer and Ash and a Moira by herself when the rest of the team is looking over here. Because Bap is trying to... These two are trying to kill this guy, and we do. Kiriko is being killed from behind because no one's paying attention to the Zarya. Kiriko TP Cesaria to get away from there. Zarya, our Zarya is just not gonna die because she's sprinting the cart. I get bobbed up in the air, and our Zarya gave up high ground, which means that they get to take contest high ground for free. So we just had really bad position because we split up. We give them high ground control um, when ours when we should have run around the other way, right? It's always, always, always more important to win the fight than it is to, to contest cart, right? If you try to go and contest cart and you lose the fight, you, it doesn't do anything anyways. They're just going to push it, right? If, Zar if our yeah. Zarya here focused on winning the fight instead of trying to contest cart, then we would have, even if we, even if we, um, you know, even if they capped up past us, we'd be able to push it back the other way and get and take it back, right? We would we would still win it. But now because we lose this fight, they push it even further, escalating their advantage. Right? And now they're and now they're you know, they're gonna be significantly above us, you know, by by a good margin. So it's not as simple as just pushing it back now. We have to push it back and get a get a pick. Does that make sense? And the, the yes. same the same principle applies on a lot of different on a lot of different maps with push with payload with control points always more important unless unless 
it's last fight in overtime. It's always more important to win the fight than to contest cart. Um, because if you, you know, if you're, if you're blindly contesting and then losing the fight, then it's, it's, you're just feeding them, them ult charge. Oh, excuse me. Feeding them ult charge and then giving them the fight win. Okay. I swap Ash. We only have a minute now to push it back. So we have to win. Not just, we have to now, because they were able to do that, get that win. We have to win two fights now because we have to win this fight here and then push it it might even be three fights so we have to win putting us at a big disadvantage we have to win this fight right here push it all the way back and they're never they're probably going to contest us when we push it back to like here ish and then we need to push cart further which means that's probably like two to three fights that we need to win just because we lost that last fight and we haven't been putting carp. We haven't been putting any pressure on cart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they have pulse and Moira. So same things as before. We have grab. We have pulse. We have Suzu, uh, Kiriko. Um, I think this is probably a good idea. Just try to win it off of Kiriko ult. Don't don't try to use grab pulse here. If you use grab pulse, that's over ulting. Yeah. We get a pick. Nice. We run in. There's Arya's running up and around. Okay, nice. Gotta kill. There's Arya. Okay, nice, nice, nice. This is a winnable game. We get the pick, so now this will come down to one or two more fights. Right? If our team can win, like, it might be like, mm, might be like one more full fight and then a stagger fight. Maybe, um, maybe two full fights. Yeah, that we gotta win. But we cleared the first barrier. They're gonna have Pulse. They're gonna have uh, Moira. Maybe Grav at the end of the fight. Um, we'll have Grav Pulse, right? So we gotta combo that ult and do it quickly before they're getting picks. Tracer, maybe a little far forwards, right? Yeah, that tracer's, her. Been, that tracer's been too worried about trying to get the other Tracer. Mm -hmm. Right, so we get an early pick. Uh oh, Zenyatta gets picked. How how does Zen get picked by Pulse? Because we're not watching him with Bubble and Suzu. Because we just use Suzu on something else. What do we use Suzu on? On uh, protecting the point. Uh, we use Suzu like all the way back here. Oh, yep, right there. Yep. So now that means that Zarya's got to be, because we use Suzu, that should be like communicated and said, I use Suzu, Zarya, you got to watch for the pulse, right? Because that's the only thing they mm -hmm. can stop here is a bubble. Zarya uses a bubble when nobody's looking at her. She ends up getting the Zenyatta killed. Yep. So Zinya, and then she, bubble, bubble comes too late. I'm sitting here requesting healing. There we go. Okay. So now we're down as any auto. They're down in Ash. We're even. We're 4v4. Tracer um, probably pushed a little far out on our own here. Pulses without grav. And they have just a bubble for it. Right? So Tracer's not waiting for the grav. Um, if we're pressing, if everyone, if she's pressing tab, if it's being called, then we're comboing it. Has once again reminding that we haven't done a single grav pulse this whole game, and we've been on Zarya Tracer this whole game. All right, we've had three times where they've both had their ultimates and they haven't comboed it. Yeah. So that means it's not being communicated. And I one. and I just and I just had this game earlier, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even notice that notice that earlier when I was playing it, um, because I guess <laughs> I was too focused on myself, right? But if it's being communicated, right? And we uh, and this and I this Zarya and this Tracer I was grouped with right the so they're they're both my friends so we we are all in a voice call on Discord and none of it was being called right none of none of the ult comboing so definitely something that could have been communicated. Um, Kiriko for is trying to Kiriko and Ash are here. I'm like desperately in need of healing. We grab. A Zarya, single Zarya, and 
Nobody else is shooting at it. Okay, we get a pick. Nice. Nice. I got a pick. I got a kill. But we down our Kiriko. Because she, like, TP'd into their team. So Kiriko's pushing a little too far. And now Tracer doesn't have healing. We don't have any healing. Okay, so. Um, we don't combo. We don't. Yeah, and we and our supports just kind of feed. I guess not the Zenyatta. Zenyatta's still walking back. Jeez. Okay, so now two seconds left in the game. I can test point with a Bob. Which was a genius stall on my part. <laughs> because nobody's here and there's two seconds left. So I throw Bob out on point to contest. Monkey dives me. I didn't even know that they swapped monkey. I need healing. Lucio. Oh my goodness. I was so upset at this. I was, I was so upset. Bob was... Nobody was on cart from their team. And Bob was contesting... And was contesting cart. Right? And it's overtime. And Lucio drags... Starts pushing the cart away from me. So now <laughs> Lucio is just like running out over here. In overtime trying to trying to push card away and i'm just like i'm like lucio where are you going because <laughs> now that's for even further away from me from me as well so she he makes the the car so that means that bob's not doing anything and i'm not able to do anything because they're because he pushed card away now i no matter what there i think we still lose the fight because we just lost the previous fight that last fight was really important to win and we maybe could have done it if we landed a graph pulse um even like the, i think one thing that our zarya wasn't thinking of is that like they don't need to wait for them to drop if Tracer's up here on the high ground, because Tracer was like, you know, running around up here for super long, why not grab from underneath, right? Because grab will catch them from underneath here. Yeah, and then have Tracer ult from up top. Yeah, great. So let's let's rewind back to last fight over here. Definitely could have like just grabbed them while they're up on high ground. All right, we get we get the pick. Could have even like stopped worrying about cart and could have just like sprinted up to high ground so so he can land that grab pulse as soon as possible because landing that grab pulse is super important all right so here tracer goes up and around zarya is backing up right not not looking for the she's not looking for the grab right now right we can look at from zarya's perspective Running around, looks at the Zarya. Grabs there. When just so we we pulse. Yeah, if Zarya's pushed forwards, maybe she can get the Tracer Lucio. Right? If she's with her team. But Zarya's yeah. kind of by herself, so if you just push forwards, yeah. maybe you get Tracer Lucio. And then that wins fight off of Tracer Lucio, because then Kiriko doesn't die if she gets Tracer Lucio in that grab. Yeah. Alright. So that's game. Um lots of lots of mistakes, particularly with communication. Ult comboing was a big thing, as well as not as being really split up, not playing as a team positioning wise. Um, going, di focusing different targets as well as um, at some occasions where our team was either not focused on contesting card at all or we were overly focused on contesting card and not winning the fight. Um, all that making sense? Any questions on it? No, it makes sense because there, there was plenty of opportunity there. Yep, exactly. And you can see how, like, you know, sometimes fights, all it takes is, you know, one wrong move, one misstep. And the whole thing comes crumbling down. Man, I landed a nasty headshot on that tracer. <laughs> let, me, let me look at that real quick. Look, my one good play. Look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I contested, but alas, my whole team was dead. Yeah, and then Monkey showed up. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, um, we got a couple of minutes left. Um... 
do, do, do. Let's see if there's anything we can cover in six minutes. Let me think if there's there's anything we can talk about. Um, let's talk about like aim practice and warm ups and my recommendations for people. So if you're ever giving recommendations for um for people for um like how do you practice your aim and get better at aiming? Um, I think we've already talked about like crosshair placement and things like that for mechanics, right? Um, yes. So uh, there's obviously stuff like focusing on that. But you can go beyond that. So, like, one big thing I would recommend is um, have people warm up before, um, one, before comp their competitive matches. Um, or, and then also, like, if it's helpful as well, maybe have them warm up before their scrims. Like, basically, like, as long as they're not playing quick play or something casual, they should be warming up before they're hopping straight into a competitive lobby. Um, where And what, what does a warm-up look like? Um, warm up. The purpose of a warm up is to get your aim and re-engaged because um, in over the course of one single night, your muscle memory will become a little bit off, right? It'll become a little bit more frail, um, and you have to kind of just re-engage your muscle memory at, just by warming up. So warm ups typically should be aim intensive. Um, now that means that they shouldn't really be like I wouldn't recommend like something like quick play um, or training range. Training range is like way too easy it's really slow moving bots and quick play well it's the a decent warm-up um there's a lot of other distractions right like there's teammates to worry about there's objectives to worry about um there's you're you know going to be so many ultimates and abilities flying around and positioning whereas you really when, when you're warming up you just want their primary focus to be on their mechanics right of how they're landing their shots so because that's the you're not going to forget how to position and use your ultimate in a night but your you know your hand will forget how to aim um yeah. for the most part so <clears throat> Um, so therefore my recommendation is do about 10 minutes ish of, uh, um, high aim intensive game modes. So this can be, um, it could be an aim trainer. I'm, you know, it, I'd recommend just like mixing it up because aim trainers, if you're doing exclusively aim trainers, um, like outside a game or in game, then you're not getting like actual, um, practice, like dueling people. Um, so if you're doing that, you won't be able to practice um like actual in-game scenarios because it'll be like once again just kind of like you know if you're aim training it's just little dots you're shooting if you know if you're doing something in game it's very predictable tr trackable patterns that they're doing things like that so um well they can be helpful but i just wouldn't exclusively rely on them um so you can do external aim trainers for 10 minutes uh do an in-game aim trainer so there's plenty of custom game modes with those um or you can do a high aim intensive ga uh custom game mode such as um try hard free for all that one's really great because though i have noticed that it's become a less popular um i i wish i wish more people did it um but i have noticed that people there's less lobbies for it nowadays um but try hard free for all or just regular free for all deathmatch can be good um lobbies for both practicing mechanics against actual in-game opponents but then also practicing your duels against them and then Additionally, you can use other things like uh, gun game, no cooldown, um, or aim arena, or 1v1 arena, all of which can be good m custom game modes that you can go into and just like warm up your aim really quickly. Um, and then another tiny thing to add in there would be like, um, don't have, or like, basically like if, if at all possible, obviously life takes priority, but if at all possible, try you know you, you want the people you're coaching to be playing semi regular so if they're not if they're not playing every single day maybe recommend um instead of skipping days get in like a 10 minute warm up and then that's it right like if you if you have yeah. days that you can't play get a 10 minute warm up in because every day you're going without playing your your mechanics are deteriorating further so just to keep fresh that can be helpful um and that's it all oh, that makes sense any questions on it no, that makes a lot of sense. A lot of uh, the players actually do that. They have like mm -hmm. uh, an aim lab game that they have on Steam. Where you nice. Can set the yep. And stuff. So. Yep, I use aim lab sometimes. Yep. Um, just 
And then other thing too is that like if they need extra practice on their aim and not just a warm up, they can do that same thing like in between games while they're queuing. Um, or like maximum, maximum I'd recommend would be like 40 minutes to an hour of aim training modes. I wouldn't recommend them doing that for like, you know, some people go like overboard and will do like three hours a day on it. It's like, no, no, just play the game. <laughs> yeah, at that point. Yeah. All right. Um, any final questions? I don't know. We'll cover a lot. 